From the pages of MikeHuckabee.com, it's another week in the books, and it was a doozy. Let's take a look back at the stories that made up the week that was. And you can have the important news of the day and my hot takes delivered right to your email inbox twice a day, absolutely free. All you got to do is sign up for the newsletter at MikeHuckabee.com. The January 6th Kangaroo Committee held a big primetime televised dog and baloney show last night. And I think those of us who watched deserve hazard pay from all those toxic fumes. Well, at least maybe another stimulus check. The Democrats, who say their committee is bipartisan, but of course it isn't, said that last night's hearing would be like an opening statement. And it was, but only from the prosecution. In other words, this may have been billed as a hearing, but we're hearing just one side. This kangaroo committee was not formed according to their own rules. And their stated goal is to show a nexus between President Trump, his allies, and the siege of the Capitol building to violate the will of the people. Now, to do this, they have to lie and selectively edit. Democracy was never really at risk because of anything those unarmed protesters did. And I remind you, they were all unarmed, not one gun found among them. Nobody took over anything. And if they'd had proper security, the breach wouldn't have happened in the first place. Joe Biden did become president. So are you happy now? If democracy is at risk, it's because of the reaction to the protesters, labeling all the Trump supporters domestic terrorists, denying any problems with the election, marginalizing roughly half the country and monitoring American citizens for what they think and say. This has all been produced right down to the minute, Brett Barr said on Fox Business News, as Representative Benny Thompson of Mississippi called the hearing to order. His opening remarks right out of the gate. Well, just take a listen. I'm from a part of the country where people justify the actions of slavery, the Ku Klux Klan, and lynching. I'm reminded of that dark history as I hear voices today try and justify the actions of the insurrectionists on January 6th, 2021. Ah, uh, off to a good start. Never mind that those evils that he mentioned all came courtesy of his own Democrat party. That's right. Check this out. Now I'm calling this the January 6th propaganda machine good time show. But the completely one-sided anti-Trump extravaganza produced by former ABC president and news producer James Goldstone ran on ABC as attack on the Capitol, the investigation. On NBC, the coverage was billed as NBC News Special, the January 6 hearings. On CBS, it's CBS News Capitol Assault hearings. On MSNBC, the January 6 hearings, the House investigates. And at CNN, they're even more dramatic, calling it attack on democracy. The January 6 hearings. I can just hear them over there screaming. On Fox Business News, yes, even they're running it. It's simply called January 6th committee hearing. The propaganda machine was wall to wall. I wonder if this being shoved down our throats has anything to do with the American people gradually coming to see that this was not Trump's fault. According to an NBC poll that was taken in May, now only a minority hold him mostly responsible. Panic Democrats have to do something, and they have to do something right away, as January 6th is, quite frankly, all they got. So they brought in the big dogs, propaganda-wise, in what must be the biggest in-kind contribution to Democrats in political history. And Thursday is only the beginning. This is really about the next election and the next as reported by NBC San Diego, the hearings are expected to be exhaustive. I got that right. But not the final word from the committee. It plans to release subsequent reports on its findings, including recommendations on legislative reforms ahead of the midterm elections. Boy, we're exhausted already. Bottom line is this. Democrats have successfully weaponized our judicial system, singling out some of their political opponents while letting their supporters and sycophants, letting them off scot-free, like Clinton lawyer Michael Sussman. 
He got let off last week by a jury comprised of some very friendly faces to Mr. Sussman. They concluded that, no, he didn't lie to the FBI when he said he had information about Donald Trump's supposed shady connection to Alpha Bank, but he was just acting in a capacity as a private citizen and not representing the Clinton campaign. But now we have to hear from these Democrats and a few so-called Republicans that begged for Nancy Pelosi's approval so much that January 6th was the worst attack on our democracy since 9-11 in Pearl Harbor in the Civil War, and maybe the War of 1812, too, for good measure. Seriously, they really have tried to tell us that. Now, last week, you may have seen on the news that former Trump economic advisor Peter Navarro was grabbed by the FBI. That's after being indicted on two counts of contempt of Congress, failing to turn over documents related to January 6th and to sit for a deposition with the Kangaroo Committee. Here's Peter Navarro. Bill, today, to do a TV appearance with Mike Huckabee show, right? And instead of coming to my door where I live, which, by the way, is right next to the FBI, instead of calling me and say, hey, we need you down at court, we've got a warrant for you, I would have gladly come. What did they do? They intercepted me getting on the plane. I mean, that was classic and so very revealing. All of that for a nonviolent process crime. And he couldn't do my show as he was scheduled to do last weekend. In fact, he got arrested as he boarded the flight to Nashville, as he said. He was on his way to be with us. And by the way, you may remember Obama Attorney General Eric Holder was found in contempt of Congress not so many years ago. By the way, that was also for failing to turn over subpoena documents to Congress. But, of course, he was not prosecuted. Not handcuffed. Not put in leg shackles. Not strip searched. Not frog marched across the lawn of the federal courthouse. No, what happened to him was nothing. Nada. So how much lying and breathless hysterics from the kangaroo committee are we now supposed to endure? Well, there are three more of these televised hearings scheduled for next week. But as most Americans don't blame Trump at this point and will surely see this for what it is, I wonder if networks might pull the plug on this in-kind contribution of the Democrat Party if, in fact, the ratings tank. And I believe they will. So let's not waste any more time on this one-sided sideshow. Well, for MikeHuckabee.com, these have been the facts of the matter. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, then subscribe, and hit the notification bell below. Now, if you didn't like it, you ought to find a Ben Shapiro video to detox you with more facts.